Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to another episode of the Year of Cooking Connect. Once again, thanks so very much for joining me. Big hello and a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. And to all of my current subscribers, thanks so much for joining me once again. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, we're going to be doing something called Pechino Yaganeshko. Basically what that is, is roast lamb. Now, lamb is very popular at Easter, but it's also popular year-round. Guys, there's a lot of ways that Macedonians do this, and there's different takes all over the Balkans. This one here really evokes the flavors of Macedonia, and you're going to love it. So without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make the most beautiful Macedonian roast lamb. I <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen countertop. As usual, all of the ingredients will be down below. Just click on show more. Right, guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've washed my lamb and patted it dry really well. What I'm using is a lamb shoulder um, with the ribs attached. Guys, you can use um, any cut that you want. You can use a lamb shank, you can use a lamb leg, but I find that the shoulder is really, really tender and tasty. So what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and season this very, very simply. First with some cracked black pepper. I love pepper. And guys, pepper and salt is to your taste, always. And then I'm gonna use some Himalayan pink salt. Guys, you can use sea salt or kosher salt. Please don't use iodized salt. It's way too much iodine in there. So go ahead and season to your taste. Now you wanna be a little bit liberal. And then I'm gonna use some garlic granules. Um, we are going to be adding more garlic later. So then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, gang, so what I've gone ahead and done is I browned all the sides of my lamb in a pan with just some vegetable oil. Turn your heat off and let this rest, and then I'll show you what I do next. All right, guys, using the same pan that you browned your lamb in, just give it a quick wipe. And what I've gone ahead and done is added just a little bit of olive oil this time, maybe about a teaspoon and a half. What I have here is a bunch of whole garlic cloves. Guys, that can be a daunting task, but if you have like a rubber pot holder or anything rubber, um, put your garlic in, give it a rub. You can do it on the counter as well. You'll hear it. And there comes your clove of garlic. Simple. So, I'm going to turn my heat on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the garlic in here, but we don't want this burnt. We just want it warm through. Maybe, maybe a little bit of color. Um, but keep an eye on it, guys. Don't walk away. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, our garlic is getting aromatic and a little bit of color. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put in some vegeta or mesh and zatch, or you can use vegetable stock. And some onion powder. Then I'm going to hit this with some white wine. And then some water. Then I'm going to use a couple of lamb stock cubes. Um, you can use chicken stock or vegetable stock if you like. So we're just going to let this simmer. And when it comes to a boil, simmer. And then we're going to put it aside until we need it. 
Alright guys, we're going to make a bit of a marinade now for our lamb. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some oil. Again, I'm using vegetable oil because olive oil does not have a high smoking point. Just a bit because there's a lot of oil or grease already in lamb, which will make you know. Cracked black pepper. Salt and pepper, guys, are always to your taste. Just a bit of salt. Not much because we've already salted the lamb and the meshenzat or the baguette is quite salty. So a bit of that. Then I'm going to hit it with some dry parsley. I don't really cook with dry parsley a lot, um, but in cases like this, the, the fresh will just burn. So dry parsley. A bit of oregano, and I always rub it between my fingers and my palms to release the essential oils. And then just a little bit of rosemary. Um, this is already ground rosemary, it's not the leaf kind, um, but use what you have on hand, guys. And lastly, I'm going to put some hot chili flakes from the village of Bukovo known as Bukovic's Beeper. This is Moot Hot. Um, it's funny because all of the Balkans now refer to that spice as Bukovic's Beeper. So I'm going to give this a mix. And then, let's get our lamb here. And we're going to just start brushing this on the lamb. So I'm going to continue doing this, guys, and then I'll show you how we prepare the baking dish. I forgot to mention, guys, I forgot to put in the paprika. So I've added some paprika. I added a little bit more of the herbs. It just needed to be a little bit more in there. All right, guys, I have my tabla here, my clay pot. Um, you can use a large casserole dish, uh, whatever you have on hand. What I'm firstly going to do is I've just quartered some onions. It's going to lay them on the bottom. And this is going to kind of act like a bed for the lamb. Then we have our garlic broth that we made over here. And all those garlic cloves, I put them in. That's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to nestle the lamb on top. Now I've basted it with that marinade. You can let this sit for a bit, guys. Don't worry if it's peeking out. We're going to cover this with tin foil. So, a bit more of the marinade. I'm just going to let this sit and chill out just for a bit. And then I'm going to show you um, what I do next. Basically, guys, just wrapping it up and placing it in the oven at about 200 C. And depending on the cut of lamb you use, guys, it could take up to three hours. Um, you want this very tender and falling off the bone. So whatever your cut of lamb is, I would recommend you look it up online to see how long the cooking time is. However, in any case, the last half hour of cooking, you will remove the tin foil to get some more browning and barking on the top of the lamb. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like in a little while. Well, guys, my lamb has rested for quite a while. You're not going to believe it. I had a complete flood from my sink. And what a disaster. But anyways, onwards and upwards. It had a nice time to sit. I did put a little bit more marinade just now. So what I'm going to do is wrap this in tin foil. And this will be placed, like I said, 
at 200 C. If any parts are sticking out, make sure that you wrap them quite well. Then, like I said guys, a half an hour before this is done, I'm going to take this off and I have a little bit more marinade set aside, which I can baste with it. We also have the liquid in here, which you can baste once in a while with, uh, while you've, after you've taken this off. And I'll bring you back once we take the tin foil off. Hey guys, look at this beautiful lamp. It's falling off the bone um, and the sauce has reduced. We have a beautiful, thick gravy. The garlic is so soft and tender. It's piping hot, but... Ah. Mm. Wow, that's good. The onions are soft. So guys, it's really, really important at this point in time to let, <clears throat> excuse me, your lamb rest. Now, mine cooked in the oven for about an hour and a half to two hours, I believe. And then I uncovered it and just let it get a bit crispy on the top, or uh, brown, rather, I should say, on the top. Um, you need to let your lamb rest, guys. And I'll bring you back and show you once this is all rested. All right, guys, I've let my lamb rest for a bit just so all the juices can redistribute throughout the meat. If you take hot meat out and cut it right away, um, the juices will run out, the first piece will be good, the rest will be dry. So, let it sit for a bit. Right, so, I'm gonna cut, um, and I've separated the little arm from the rib portion here, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut some here. I've, I've actually stole a piece. Very good. Wow. <laughs> that is so juicy and tender, guys. Really. Oh, and it smells fantastic in here. Wow. Really nice. So guys, I'm going to continue carving up, and then I'll plate up and bring you back. Hey gang, we're all plated up. The lamb is beautiful, succulent, gorgeous. This is from the arm or the shoulder. Um, I have a piece of the rib here, just falling apart. Um, juicy, gorgeous, beautiful. Well, let me take a piece of this. I don't even need the fork or knife. Mm. Mm. That was a big bite, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's so good. We have our roasted garlic here. And the... Uh, onions. I have some roasted red peppers. Um, Shopska salata. And what I did, guys, is I um, I have some honey roasted parsnips here. Um, traditionally, it would be potatoes. I'm just trying to keep it a little carb friendly. So, and I love parsnips. They're absolutely gorgeous. Mm. My favorite vegetable. Shopska Salata, a classic. If you haven't made this, I will put a link at the end of the video after the credits. Guys, this is it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It tastes good. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. Thank you so much for watching the Euro Cooking Canuck. My Facebook page will be below. Please like, please comment, please share. Love all your comments. You guys know that. And we'll see you next time on the Euro Cookie Canuck with Memories of Macedonia. Few pics to follow. Ciao for now.